You sitting and yelling like a maniac and think I want to go out with you. Go out with you and think I don't want to spend my whole fucking life. Young living every day, giving it to you and cutting straight. Now listen, if this your first time watching my channel and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, say you're rocking with your boy. Take a second, scroll down, click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate that. Now moving forward, man, today is, this is how modern, most modern women really think. Let's dive into it. I was talking to this guy last night at the bar and he was telling me how he lives in Hawaii for a while and how he did this thing. I don't know what the fuck it's called and I don't know why anybody would do it that they just, they, 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 they like paddled him out in like the middle of the ocean, like a mile, uh, a mile away from the fucking the shoreline. And they just left him in the middle of the ocean with the tiger sharks and the turtles. And he was just in the middle of the ocean and he was going, -a, -a, -a. and he said he would do that for like six hours at a time. And I was just like, that's what the men of today should be doing. Let's stop worrying about what the bitches and the hoes is doing. Get stranded at sea. You know what I'm saying? Like be fighting with the tiger sharks and the fucking turtles and shit like that. Worry about that. Hold up. She says men shouldn't be worried about, you know, 304s, whores, whatever the case is. No accountability for females, right? Going out there having all these different um sexual encounters with multiple different guys, right? That's fine. But instead, men should get stranded in the middle of the sea trying to fight off sharks, tigers, and turtles. <laughs> That's what the men in society should be doing. No accountability for the women and the bad stuff that they do. She's in the United States and saying an American guy should be in the sea fighting sharks, dealing with tigers and turtles. Bitches, you crazy. But let's, let's dive into, she got another clip, man. Let's dive into the next one. Absolute delusion. Bewilders me. Women that make TikToks on some. This is how you act on a first date if you want to attract a high value man. Look at that. Eh, eh, eh. First day, he gonna know. I laugh at all my own jokes. I'm violent and I'm conceited as fuck. Okay? I don't care. I'm always gonna love me more than I'm ever gonna love you. And if I, I laugh at my own jokes, she said she violent and conceited. And I'm, she said, I'm always gonna love me more than I'm gonna love you. Emotional damage. Wow. Let's continue. And if a man wants to be in my life, he needs to spend his every waking hour thinking of ways on how he needs to convince me that he should even be graced by my presence. <laughs> I'm gonna be up at night uh, trying to adopt a personality that they need that ain't even mine to attract headaches and ridiculousness. It don't make no damn sense enough. Ina, be you, be you, and put yourself first. So let me get this straight. Men should go out here and fight tooth and nail to become charismatic, attractive, ambitious, dominant, right? True leaders, great in the bed, right? All these different things that men got to go out fighting tooth and nail to do. Cool, right? But after doing all of that, right? He should accept you, right? With your mental and emotional damage, right? Disrespectful, right? And then after he fight tooth and nail to become a man that most women want to be with, he's supposed to prove himself to you and be grateful that he's allowed to breathe the air you breathe in. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm gonna play, before we go to the next one, I'm going to play this back one more time. This is crazy. You know what bewilders me? Women that make TikToks on some. This is how you act on a first date if you want to attract a high value man. Eh, eh, eh. First day he gonna know. I laugh at all my own jokes. I'm violent and I'm conceited as fuck. Okay? I don't care. I'm always going to love me more than I'm ever going to love you. And if a man wants to be in my life, he needs to spend his every waking hour thinking of ways on how he needs to convince me that he should even be graced by my presence. Get the fuck out of here! How am I going to be up at night uh, trying to adopt a personality that, they need, that ain't even mine to attract headaches and ridiculousness? 
It don't make no damn sense enough. Ina, be you, be you, and put yourself first. But you know what, though? The crazy thing, y'all, a lot of them think and feel like this. That's why I say this is how most modern day women think and feel. This is how they feel for real. She just had the guts to say it. To actually think that you're damaged as a person, but at the same time, even though you're damaged, you think you're better than a man who went out there to become the best version of himself when you're on a decline. That is absolutely delusional. Let's see if she got that same energy 15 years from now. When she hit the wall, that beauty fade go on vacation and don't return. And she can no longer attract the opposite gender the same way that she can now. I guarantee you, she be bagging for good boys then. All right, y'all, next clip. That you ain't invited? Okay. You, you don't go here because you ain't free. Like we have a babysitter? Do we have a babysitter? What? You can't go? You're fucking socially awkward ass. Where you gonna go? Oh, okay. Now, that's the first thing. She says, you can't go. You're socially awkward. Awkward. If your woman consider you to be a socially awkward male, that's her way of saying that you're a lame. That's another way of showing you that she don't respect you. I don't even respect what you say because I don't feel like you can stand on what you're talking about when you say it. But let's continue. Okay, yeah. That's why you don't want me to go. You want you to go? You ain't going to no party club then who can go with you. Okay. I'm having a drink with a child. Come on now. You know, whole family can go. You ain't going to no hard club and your whole family can go. I need a break from you. Don't you get it? You sitting and yelling like a maniac and think I want to go out with you. Go out with you and think I don't want to spend my whole fucking life around you 24-7. Sorry. 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 It's me time. I need some me time. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yup, I don't give a fuck. I don't. You know what she said? I don't want to spend the rest of my life around you 24-7. Sorry. Even though I even though she got a kid, I need some me time. I don't give a fuck. That is right there. And then on top of that, he yelling at the top of his lungs, screaming from the other room. This is clearly a guy who is not on that level, man. I, listen, I'm looking at this. This girl is not even attractive. This is not even an attractive female. If you're screaming at the top of your lung at a female who looks like this and talk to you that way, that let me know what your value is as a guy. You don't value yourself or you just ain't on that level. There's no way in the world a female that looks like that is going to be talking to me like that. Any woman in general, period, shouldn't be talking to nobody that way. No man should ever accept that. But you see what I'm saying? She don't respect him. And like I'm going to get back to what I was saying, Right? any man on a certain level wouldn't even be dealing with a girl who looked like her for one and if he did he's not gonna tolerate her speaking like that and he ain't gonna be yelling at the top of his lungs you know what he's gonna do he's gonna either if it's his house he gonna remove her get her out of there he's gonna make her hit the exit or guess what he gonna do pack his stuff up and get up out of there it's over with after you speak like that this female got in her mind it's me time fuck the kid never mind the kid it's me time I don't want to be around you 24-7. I'm about to do me. And we all know that they play chess. She's going to go out looking for his replacement. Keep him right there until she finds his replacement. He yelling and screaming at the top of his lung. What do that demonstrate? He don't have the leverage in that relationship. As a man, you're supposed to be the leader. You're not leading that relationship. You yelling and screaming at the top of your lungs, bro. She got you out of your character. You see what I'm saying? You're not holding frame. She said, I don't give a F. She's telling you everything you need to know. That relationship is over. Let's continue. I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. Yes. 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 Talk about family time. Fuck out of here. You stay on that game 24 fucking 7. You stay on that game 24 fucking 7. Family time my ass. Family time my ass. You a joke. You're insecure because I'm finna go out. You're insecure. Talk about some family time. You don't give a fuck about no family time. You don't care about family time. You just want 
You know what she said? I'm going out regardless. You can't put me in harm's way and you can't protect me from it. So not only she tell him he's socially awkward, she don't give a F. Is she doing, she wants some me time. And guess what? You can't tell me what to do. Absolute bar level of it's over. But let's continue. And you can't protect me from it. You are my biggest harm. And she said he can't protect her. That's the last draw right there. She don't respect you and she don't see you as a protector. She can't love you. It is over. But let's continue. You're my biggest harm. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. It's not safe. It's not safe. You're going to protect me. I only have to go places with you because you're going to protect me. But you are my biggest fucking stressor in the world. You're my, you're my biggest stressor in the world. And then mimics him about protection. I'm going to go out regardless. I don't care about what you're saying. I don't respect you. I don't want to be with you. I'm going to go out. That's what she's saying. But let's continue. My biggest fucking you're headache. You're fucking yep, you're dumb. You're mad because you can't go. You're mad because you can't go. Yep, yep. I don't follow you. See how beta he got yelling and screaming out of frame, talking about some B, I would follow you. The only way, like I said, only time men think and move that way is when they don't have enough options. They don't have a leverage. You think he would be yelling and screaming at her saying, B, I would follow you if you go to the club? Woman looking like that, if he had beautiful feminine women lined up at arm's reach ready to take on, that treated him a lot more, well, a lot more respect and looked up to him, you think he'd be dealing with a female like that trying to stop her from doing something that she's going to do anyway? He wouldn't. This thing is over with, man. She lost all respect for him. She's holding all leverage in the situation, man. Don't ever deal with a woman like this, y'all. But let's continue. She will follow me. I will follow you. Okay. See what I deal with? Bitch, I will follow you. I don't care you always disrespecting me. Yo, bitch, I will follow you. Because I'm finna go out. What's going on? Leaving your family to go out. Leaving your child to go out. Why you with your child? Heard what he said? Leaving your family to go out, leaving your child to go out. Like I told y'all before, she's willing to put her personal feelings and wants before the family, before the kid. This is why you don't lay down and have a family be with a female who care more about what she want over the kid. A lot of these females, not all, have this innate, innate, grain, selfish need to put them first. You cannot deal with a woman that's selfish like that, man, with that mindset. This is where vetting coming in. That's why you need to vet people. And it can come from different things. But let's continue. Yep. Stay with my child 24-7. Was you with your child when you just went to your friend's house? When you just went to your friend's house? Don't I invite you back to Oh, okay. Don't I invite you back to Oh, okay. Exactly. See what I go Exactly. I invite you everywhere I go. But you heard what he said. I invite you everywhere that I go. She don't want him coming around because she don't want to be with him no more. That thing is over with and doomed, man. Talking to y'all, I don't talk to my man like that. Because he's the provider and a protector. So it's like some shit that you just don't say. Like, if I start talking crazy a little bit, he might be like, yo, watch your mouth. And when he say that, I'll be like. Now, you notice what she said. I don't talk to my man how I talk to y'all. I've seen a few of her clips and she, you know, she talked a little crazy online. But you see what she said versus the last guy in the other video wasn't getting no respect. But I'm sure it's because he ain't leading by example. When you yelling and screaming at the top of your lungs at a female, you need to demonstrate what, who, what kind of man you is. Like I said, you would have kicked that girl to the curb, man, and got on with your life. I guarantee she would have saw a new sheriff in town. You see what I'm saying? But you hear what this lady just said about her man. I don't talk to my man like that. You see what I'm saying? That's a woman who respects her man. But he's also leading by example and she said when she say something crazy what'd he say don't speak to me that way listen the way she listen to what she do after he say that yo watch your mouth and when he say that i'll be like when he say that the cat be like meow <laughs> he don't know that but you know be like watch your mouth and you got but if a dude 
Yo, now, I'm going to play it back one more time. Notice how serious her face is in the beginning of the video. And when she talked about her man telling her, checking her, putting her in her place, notice the look on her face afterwards. The way I'm talking to y'all, I don't talk to my man like that. Because he's a provider and a protector. So it's like some shit that you just don't say. Like Some stuff you just don't say. Some stuff you just don't say to a man. But when she respects you, she admire you, and you lead by example, she know not to speak to you that way. You see what I'm saying? Watch. If I start talking crazy a little bit, he might be like, yo, watch your mouth. And when he say that, I'll be like, when he say that. You see that smile on her face? Yo, watch your mouth. That's a woman who respect her man. She turned on by the fact that he put her in her place, man. They like that sometimes. They need that. But let's continue. Look at that smile on her face. She wasn't smiling at first, was she? Nah. But let's continue. The cat be like, meow. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know that, but you know. Be like, watch your mouth. And you got, but if a dude. So, listen. I can relate to what she's speaking on because, you know, I dealt with women in the past and they got out of pocket, right? And I had to put them in their place, Right? You ain't got to be yelling and screaming, doing all that. You can be very assertive as a man without raising your voice. Trust me, they going to feel your presence when you speak. Facial expressions and the way you tone it and the way you say it, they going to know, right? And the same thing happened. She was upset about it. Well, in her case, she was upset about it. But guess what? She was very aroused by it. So some men, I don't know if y'all know, sometimes when you put a woman in her place, she might not like it, but she's turned on by it. They'll be mad and aroused at the same time. I'm not saying all women, but some women like to be put in a place. They don't, you know, they might not like it in that present time. It makes them upset, but they'll be roused in the same breath. I'm telling you. You see how she was looking when she said her man checked her? First, when the video first started, what'd she say? Some things you just know not to say. And she said, if I get out of pocket, he checked me right and then she had a smile on her face she respected she aroused by that kind of stuff and then said the cat be sending me out translation these sugar ball these sugar walls be flowing and leaking when he talked to me that way you know sometimes some girls like that they get you they, they want you to they do some just so you can check them on purpose because it make them feel some kind of way which i think is pretty toxic but i'm just letting you know but you you can't you can't be a man. You don't put a woman in a place just because she may get aroused. It's you doing your job as a man. I remember that day that girl told me that. You know what I'm saying? I had a woman tell me like, "Yo, I ain't gonna lie. When you did that, you know what I'm saying? That really had me. That really had me wet." And I had to tell her with a straight face, like, "Listen, I ain't out here pulling all that stuff off there to get you aroused. This is what I'm doing as a man. You gonna respect me? You ain't gonna speak to me that way." See, in my mind, I'm like, okay, but you can't let you can't let her know that. You got to stand on being a man because she got to know that it ain't no game and she can't just throw no cat at you and, and pull you out of character. In the process, say she get aroused by, that's her own thing, though. You see what I'm saying? But I'm just letting you man know that sometimes they can be turned on and mad at you at the same time. And it might not make sense to you if you haven't experienced it yet, but once you experience something like that, then you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. And that's what the lady spoke about in that video. Let's dive into it. A lot of these women are out here having babies by these dudes that still laying on their mama couch or they stay with five of their homeboys and then you had a baby and then you get mad because they can't provide. So now you're like, oh, I'm not trusting these. No, honey, you can't trust what you picked. Oh. That's the thing. That's called accountability. She was on the money cooking with an apron and a chef hat on. Don DeMarco for that one. Don yes. DeMarco. Yes. Because it's a group, it's a small group of women who do hold both parties accountable, hold women accountable too for their actions, right? A lot of women out here having kids by a dude that's living on his homeboy couch, right? Or stay at his mama's house. Then you go out there procreate with this guy and he can't provide or he's not present in kid life and then you want to blame all men. Like she said, no. Those are the men that you picked. Dinah Marco for that again.
Yes. One hundred percent true, man. That's what I always say. When they out, when a woman's out here bashing guys and talking all this crap about them, you pick the guy. It's your job as a woman to vet him. Stop listening to what you hear and pay attention to what you see. Look at everything. You know what I'm saying? As a whole, get to know this guy really. Who around him, his family, his friends, his vices, everything he do. Instead of listening to those sweet words and falling victim, you got to pay attention to what's going on. And that's how these girls be getting got because they fall in love with what they hear instead of what they see. But listen, y'all, man. That's all I got to say about that one. Look, before I get out of here, yo, listen. Be on your purpose. Be on your grind. Get your money on point. Get your mind on point, man. Develop your social skills so that you can be out here and be able to operate right and be able to deal with, you know be able to talk to women because as men we have to have those social skills anyway right and that's going to be part of a great key ingredient to help you be successful when it comes to dealing with you know attractive women getting in the gym you know what i'm saying getting in shape got to get your body on point too and last but not least get your passport because when you see it you can't unsee it but listen that's all I got to say about that one. Listen, like, comment, subscribe. Say you're rocking with your boy. Subscribe to the channel, man. The more I get from y'all, the more I can get y'all. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. Listen, I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Yeah, got the streets on fire, feel the heat, the way, way. Ain't never had no handouts, put in work, I'm self-made. Superhero strength, I got the power loop. Flexing on them haters like Drake. This is real rap, no cap. Bust it down like Pax. Hustle hard like I trap.